Greetings all of you. Uh, I would like to especially welcome all the Swedish friends who are joining this virtual Biaseller Meet organized by the Handloom Export Promotion Council of India. I would like to thank the HEPC for giving me this opportunity to speak briefly with you. Having arrived recently in Sweden, uh, it is highly encouraging for me to see how close the uh, India-Sweden ties are building up. Uh, for instance, in the last uh, five years, our heads of state and government have met five times. And despite last year, 2020 being the COVID year, there were uh, a range of ministerial interactions. This political uh, deepening of ties is also reflecting in our close uh, trade relations, although there is still a lot of uh, scope for improvement in the handloom sector. Indian handlooms are well received in markets such as US and uh, Europe. Uh, in Europe, especially countries like uh, UK, uh, France, Germany, Spain, and also now picking up in Sweden. When you uh, bring an uh, Indian handloom product, you are actually bringing into your home uh, motifs and designs that are thousands of years old uh, and represent rich Indian civilizational heritage and diversity of India. They represent the long traditions of uh, skill of weaving, and their unique designs make them especially attractive. The Indian Handloom brand uh, emphasizes zero defect and zero impact on environment. This is especially useful and uh, attractive to modern consumers all across the world. The innovation and the adaptability to the requirements of the market offers choices to buyers and consumers alike. Several leading uh, Swedish uh, brands such as uh, IKEA, Hemtex, Indiska are sourcing Indian handloom products and I hope that today's online event will be useful for both buyers and sellers from India and Sweden uh, to develop more business linkages and further promote these trade links uh, between our countries. Thank you very much.